Hi everybody, this is the Palace of Forest. I'm Old Joan. Today we are talking about something very special. It's about the chemistry. It's a H3, CS, and SR. <laughs> what are those? Okay, let's talk about the 1945, August 6th and 9th. There's two atomic bombs dropped to Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. This is the first time in hum human history, the modern civilization, mass destructive bombs to destroy our own people, human being. But the, the people get killed, also the people killed other people. The destructor also is destructing some other people during the Second World War, but they never apologize. Time goes 66 years later. In 2011, there's a big, big earthquake and caused a tsunami and destroyed a lot of nuclear electricity factories in Japan. They built along the shore because they wanted the water to cool the nuclear center. But the tsunami get into those reactor and destroy the whole thing. It caused atomic, like atomic bomb, but it's, it's electricity factory called Tokyo Electric Factory Company. Okay, so these things caused a lot of disaster happening. And after 12 years, the Japan tried to release those waters into the open sea. So it's caused a big international chaos here. Let's look at, into this event. Number one, the most disaster one is the fish, of course. So they are deformed, they are suffering, and we have nuclear tests, and we have the chemistry polluted water, and we have a lot of things by human being itself destroy the other species. So we can see sometimes thousands and thousands of sea lions died in the shore, or thousands and thousands of fish died in the shore. Why? The picture look all horrified. That's because the mass destruction is there, caused by chemistry, caused by nuclear testing, or caused by some human caused the trouble. We also know the second one is this event. The only one gives some explanation is IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency. They said that some factors, some elements, are okay, then they don't say any more details. So it's very confusing. Nobody knows what does that mean. They didn't endorse this release, but they said some elements are reaching the limit. Some are over, but what is precisely? Nobody knows. And let's look into this IAEA. Their chief was re-elected in April, and according to the record, he was very easily get all the approval for the related countries. Who's related countries? Probably USA. So maybe there's some kind of things in there. They already have agreement. He will become the nuclear agency chief, but he probably will be okay for this polluted water release. So we don't know. We are just guessing. Now we say Tokyo electric company, they even said the SI was over the limit, the standard. But any more detail? Nobody knows. And then the funny part is so many politicians, Japan politician, Korean politician, and even U.S. embassies come to have a show to eat fish, to show people it's safe to eat fish. If it's safe, why you have to demonstrate? So that's the funny thing. Also U.S. U.S. diplomat have to participate in this kind of show. Why? I got confused. The current is going to come to 
Alaska or um, Seattle pretty soon, a few months later. So we will be affected. Our fisheries industry will be affected also. Why has this kind of approval? This is very weird. So let's look into it. Like IAEA even said, in 1946 to 1958, the USA has 28 nuclear bomb, nuclear test, and a six nuclear submarine was disappeared during those periods of time. Don't forget, each submarine has a reactor, nuclear reactor. They are under the ocean. That's very dangerous. Then also thousands, thousands of tons, billions, billions of tons of water, polluted water released into the open sea. So that is one thing. Then you take a look into even farther, the French and the British, they also in last century has uh, nuclear testing, but they are all in South Pacific area. So the, uh, that is also polluted the water. And the Russian power has too, but they are inland. Also, they never publish their record. Nobody knows. And China has a nuclear testing. It's in Xinjiang, in North Bob. So that's inland. So the damage to the ocean, open sea problem is less. But no matter what, all those things are very much affected the safety of the earth. Then we are also looking into the, the other thing is the Tokyo uh, Electric Company. They are almost bankrupt in March or in last year. So they have a very bad financial report because this accident. And then in March, they are already said they reached the bottom of it. They are suddenly has the stock sold and then raised up a lot, like 13, 15% in June. And they take a, a careful look at, at Taiwanese. They are the company investor is Wall Street's Vanguard Group and the Black Rock. They bought a lot of Tokyo Electric Company's stock to make that up. They want the up, up then they can release, they can sell to get the difference. So the thing is they can release the uh, polluted water into the open sea. Then Tokyo Electric Company stock will raise up and then they can resell it. Uh, these two company, Vanguard Group and Black Rock can sell and earn the difference and dump the stock. It's like a big, big issue, big money involving, but my God, this is a human being's life. Another funny thing is also Hong Kong newspaper report. In 2023, from January to now, this one country reduced importation of uh, Japan's fisheries the most is USA. So USA already knew they are not going to allow Japanese fish to come in. So this is something we know in advance. And the funny, another funny thing is uh, Japan is accusing China an equal business deal for these fisheries. So they put the WTO, the lawsuits in WTO. This is very ridiculous. How could you force the other people to buy your fish? If you, your fish already don't know it's safe or not safe. But if safe, you should eat yourself. Not safe, why should you sell? So this is a very clear question in here. So the whole thing is so ridiculous. It's a simple scientific question. Why should it involve in this complicated political environment? environment? For my point of view, I think if this water can be solved in the land, then should it solve in the land, even spend a lot of money. Don't forget, if money can solve the problem, it's not a problem. And also, remember in 1986, Chernobyl accident in Soviet Russia at that time, they mobilized the whole country, almost 60,000 people 
to clear up that event. So in Japan, they should not have the whole thing to Tokyo Electric Company to do it. They should have the whole nation to clear up this accident. Should not leave one country to be responsible for the whole thing. I think Japan is doing this, or now he's doing this. He's going to release those water to the open sea for 30 years. So think about that. I think it's very irresponsible. Okay, now if you look from the outer space picture, look at the Earth, it's so pretty, so blue. Or other planets in the solar system are black, dark. Only the Earth is so bright, beautiful. Let's not to do any more damage to our Earth. What do you think? I hope you like my show and uh, refer to your friend. See you next time.